Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how to use colliders and how they work. So what I have in my uh, scene here is a simply uh, a capsule uh, that I use for my player with a simple uh, movement script. Uh, I have the capsule collider and I have my rigid body where it's freeze and levitation. And the ground is a is a simple plane. Yeah. So what we can use um, in the in the beginning here, I will show you the on trigger enter function. And one of the methods that you can use it is if if you, as an example, under your player, make an empty object, and this we can call the on trigger uh, collider. And here we'll add, uh, let's, we can use a box collider. Now let's edit the collider. And, oh, that was too much. If you see here, you can see this green box. And if anything gets inside of this green box, then we are using the on trigger collider. And of course, this one needs to be a trigger. So it needs to be marked off. So maybe better to explain what it is. So if we make it a little larger than the player, because it should work when something gets inside of the box. So it should of course not be smaller than your player because then your player needs to walk inside of the other object before it works. But if we, something like this, it's, it's a, a bit bigger than, than, the, play, than the player. Now let's uh, add a new script. Oh no, let's let's uh, make an enemy first. Uh, in this case, we will just make a simple cube. Uh, put it up here. Just move it a, a bit away. This cube we can call enemy. Uh, I have a basic uh, red material here, uh, just to show you how to make that. It's great material and this one uh, we can just call this enemy 2 and let's make the color something dark red and then drag it onto your play the enemy here and we actually don't have to do anything on the enemy yet so on the player again underneath him we got the untrigger collider let's make a new script and call this one on trigger collider. Attach this. We'll let it compile. Um, attach it to the on trigger collider on your player. Open it up in Visual Studio. And here we can remove the uh, the update and start function. And then we simply just have to use the on trigger enter. Remember to use the on trigger enter and not the on trigger enter 2D because the 2D is only for 2D games. So it will not work if you use that one. So the on trigger enter here, that was the, the one thing that I was explaining before that if it gets inside of that green box, something should happen. So First, to test off if it works, we can say if other dot tag is equal to, and in this case, it will be an enemy. So if uh, on the on trigger uses a, the collider, and then it's named other. You can rename this to whatever you want, and this other is the one you have to use here. So that's why it's called other. You can if it's an enemy you have here, you can call this enemy and then it's just enemy.tag. So it, it, it's up to you. I, I just like to keep it uh, as the, the other. Um, so if the tag is the enemy, then we will say debug.lock. Uh, I got hit. Let's see this. Save this and head back to Unity. 
then it needs to uh, to trigger uh, the attack enemy. So on your enemy, you'll have to take uh, your attack up here. And I already got the attack enemy. If you do not have it, press the add tag, press the plus button here, add the enemy, go back to your enemy over here, and change the tag to enemy. So now when we hit the play button, and you, if you open up the console down here, you can see if I walk into the enemy, I got hit. So this works. So if you see, if I take my player here again, it's not possible to yeah turn it on here. So if the enemy get inside this box, it will say I got hit. Okay, so let's use it for something. So if you open up Visual Studio again, we could, uh, as an example, let, let's say if we got hit by this uh, enemy, we have to respawn uh, somewhere. So we can use, we can say uh, private um, transform. Let's call it our spawn point. We got a private transform and this will be our player and remember to serialize field in the beginning this is uh, the serialized field is actually so you can see it in the inspector uh, even if it's private instead of making it public so if we save this and down here in the debug uh, oh sorry in the other dot tag we can simply just say player.transform.position Oh, sorry, it's dot is equal to our spawn point dot transform dot position. So if we collide with the enemy, the tag enemy, then the player's position is equal to the spawn position. So save this, head back to Unity. Now in our game, we'll need to make something uh, a spawn point. Let's create an empty, and this one we can call uh, spawn point. And let's say we will spawn over here somewhere. Now press the untrigger collider on your player, and it needs a spawn point. Drag it over here, and it needs your player. So now test it out, hit the play button. So now when you walk into the enemy, you go to the spawn point, but you can see the spawn point was a bit low, so I got underneath <laughs> the plane. Let's pull it up a bit. Let's try again. So now when I hit the enemy, I go to the spawn point, and here we go. So this is a way that you can use this untrigger function. Again, you have something called uh, the on-trigger enter. You also have the on-trigger exit. And the on-trigger exit is actually when you exit this collider. So if enemy is entering this, you will go to the spawn point and if it exits so it, let's comment this out and then you can see here on the debug we still got I got hit and then if you copy this and paste it down here you can say uh, maybe just say exit so let's save this and head back to unity now let's make our uh, trigger a little bit bigger uh, something like this so now when you go to the enemy you can see down in the console down here I got hit and when you when the enemy over here to the left is getting out of your collider exit and this this could be can be used in some cases maybe if you had the you can actually just add this uh, 
box collider and the untrigger collider to your enemy instead and then you could uh, use the tag player so if the player is uh, inside uh, this trigger it should follow your player so you could make this like like something like this that is your attack range and when the player gets inside this one he will start to follow you and when he gets outside he will maybe go back or something like that yeah um what else can we do with the trigger yes we can use it as a teleporter as well so if we um um, let's see how we do that. Yeah, let's add an empty object. Uh, no, not an empty, empty object, sorry. Let's add a 3D object. Let's make a cylinder. Let's scale the Z axis, no, not the sex, the, the, the Y axis. Yeah, down like this to 0 0.08 in my case. Pull it down to the ground. And let's move it over here. Let's add a new material. This material we could call teleport. And let's make it a bit blue. Drag this to the object. On the cylinder, let's make a new tag. Add tag. Let's call this teleport. Like this, press the cylinder and tag it as teleport. And then we can just use the spawn point here and call this uh, telepoint. So it actually works the, a bit the same as it, when you hit the enemy. Uh, let's now let's teleport over here. Um, let's open up the script and we can see if other the tag here is. Uh, teleport then the player that transform is going to that spawn point um, here we can just name the, rename this one to teleport point um, save it Get, head back to unity now on the on your player you have this untriggered collider it's teleport point um, that is the teleport here. So now, when you go to the teleport, you will teleport to this location. Yeah, that was actually uh, what I had to to show you in uh, this tutorial. This is how you can use the on trigger function, and it can be used in many ways. Again, if it's uh, this is uh, one of the easier way that I fi f uh, find to use it because now I can have the script on my player and I can have one script where I can put in uh, uh, all the different uh, colliders. Again, you, you can make another one here if you want. Um, you can just keep writing if... Uh, let, let's copy this one up here, paste below. And here you can still use the enemy if it's enemy you hit. Um, you you will go to the spawn point. Just make a new transform, and you have a spawn point. Um, instead of you, of course, sometimes it it will make sense to put it on the enemy. So if you hit, if the player hits the enemy or an another object, then something will happen. But in this way, the player is controlling the on trigger collider. Yeah, again, thank you for watching, and uh, if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you.